Doesn't hold as many bullets, but sure as hell fires quicker. So it's going to become my main handgun. I'll only go back to the other one if I'm really hitting for bullets. Because there are still 13 bullets in it. Hopefully I shouldn't be hitting for bullets. Oh boy! More bullets! Sweet. That should keep me going a little longer. Child wandering around an inf zombie infested police department. Excuse me. Officer. Uh, hey, you. Nice. Still one bullet left. And he's up. down and he's dead sweet oh sweet I used the spade key for the last time will I discard yes even though Claire would have no idea if she need that key anymore the game does so I'm gonna just throw it out of the way Just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. Okay, so it's not that cutscene. Yay, we both made it! There's a little girl. Who is she? No idea. I'll find her. Let's split up because that's stupid. Uh, Leon will find a way out. Here's some radios. We'll stay in contact even though we'll barely ever talk. Nice. So, now it's time to have a look down here. This is where Sherry ran off to, so we'll not be seen here for a bit. But some bullets? Oh yeah. Oh yeah! We'll also take what's behind door number two. No, no, no. I actually want what's in there, please. Will you take the flame out? Oh yeah! And now we are in the library. So let's climb up. Go down here. And the floor breaks. But that's okay. It's all part of the plan. Let's have a look at this thing. A bronze plate with a picture on it. Cool. So you've seen what the picture looks like, and you press this this oddly placed switch. That looks familiar. Now this could quite possibly be the easiest puzzle in Resident Evil history. Go to this one. Move it right. Go to the one next to it. Move it right. Oh, you've done it. And our prize? Now the puzzle gods have been appeased is the Serpent Stone. 
There are three of these. Claire's needs all three to escape the police to the uh, Raccoon Police Department. Leon again has collectible items that he needs to escape the police department. But we'll find out all about that in Leon B scenario. And now, there's no point in giving it any more for. We'll take that return. And now it's time to go out here. No, no, reload. Someone dead. Oh, hell no. No, no, Claire. The one nearest to you. Thank you. Yeah, well, I'm empty. Reload. Nothing there on this scenario. That's a B scenario thing. That one's dead. Around here. Drop the ladder. Nice. Crap, crap, crap. I didn't know that. I forgot they were there. Get off. Check ass. Oh, I'm injured. Wow, I'm just mad. You guys dead. Yes. Now nah, I'm much happier. Maybe going to caution for the first time. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, that sucks, Nod. Ooh, it shines. Will you take the lighter? Hell yes. I'll be needing that before long. Okay, serpent stone. Nope. Lighter, not right now. It's not there. Wait a minute. Bring that back. I have a spot. I think I have a spot for those. Okay. Let's reload the gun. It's always wise. Question is, do I go back to the other virgin heart now? No, I can't actually do that, but yeah, we'll wait. Secretary's Diary A. April 6th. I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I learned when I leaned against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off. Screaming at me never to touch the statue again. If it's so important, then maybe it shouldn't have been put out in the open, in a police station, where there will be people working. April 7th. I heard that the art pieces from the chief's collection are rare items, literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the bigger mystery, where he's finding these tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them. May 10th. I wasn't surprised to see the chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really large disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. I was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at the painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a... Try that again. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. Okay, moving on. Zombies! 
going away. I don't need to deal with that right now. I'm not going that way. I'm going this way. Okay, let's unlock this door. In fact, let's just unlock this door. I don't need to actually go that way yet. So we'll go down here. The herb, the herb can stay for the time being. I don't I really have the room to deal with it. All those two. And we'll enter the room. Oh my god, he entered the room. Hello, sir. You won't need any bullets, will you? Thanks. Dead yet? No. Come on, fall down. Awesome. So, two, two, three, six, just like the memorandum told us. Ooh. First of all, acid rounds. I'm not going to turn down to massive man. And secondly, a police station map, but you take it. Sure, not that I need it, but I'll take it. And an herb. Don't really need the herb, but kind of tired of being in caution. Now I'm going to be fine again. Seems this guy wants to get on the action. But I'm not going to allow it. Okay. Back up. Now we're back up here, we're going to go the other way. So that is the way I need to go. I'm getting slightly confused with the B, B scenario again. Thinking that, you know, the placement of this item. Nice. Run, 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 run. No, no, go for the door. There we go. Ooh, flaming helicopter crash. Some shit's gone on over here. I get a feeling we'll get a glimpse into that later. Much, much later. Sprint. Don't really have to go past these zombies more than once, so if I can avoid them, I will. And we're in. Nothing here. Oh, oh man, that's sweet. Will you take the bow gun? Hell yes. The guy in the gun shop at the beginning of the game, he was holding one of these. Now I finally get one. And I will also take the valve handle. Now, I'm not going to open this door here, and you're probably wondering, Oh my god, HS, why wouldn't you open the door? What could be behind the door? Could be anything, even a speedboat. It's not a speedboat. It's actually a couple of zombies that you're going to have to...
deal with, so just don't. Just leave it. It's the best advice I can give you. Just leave it alone. You got what you came for. Get the hell out of Dodge. No, no, I can make it there. There, there. Around. Just you, sir. Just you. And oh, and we'll never have to look at those zombies again. I never have to come back here. So what we'll do is we'll take this valve handle and we'll stick it on this obvious place where a valve handle goes. So let's go look at the flaming wreck. Why not? Oh, what's left of the flaming wreck? Some bullets that didn't explode in the fire. Interesting. But I'll take them. And now we're done here. And now we can just run away. Ignore the crows, they're really not worth your time. They will peck you and hurt you. You can shoot them out the air, sure, but why? They're not that much of a threat. So now, it's time to take care of that pesky virgin heart puzzle. And to do that, I'm going to need to go back to the first floor. So we're not going to need that anytime soon. Okay, way too many rounds. Yeah. What I'll quickly do. No, I'm happy with that actually. Don't think I'm going to run into any more liquors anytime soon. I do want you and the lighter. That'll do it. Okay, I'm out of here. Wrong button. Okay, so we lower the stairs, a uh, ladder takes me back to the main hall of the police department and that's exactly what I want to climb now. Such fun. And now we go to the Room that I've been avoiding because up until getting the lighter, there's been nothing there for me to do with it. Now I can. Uh, the room where the liquor was. Good times. <laughs> 